game. It's the Chiefs and the 49ers, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. Well, the onset of fall weather certainly a welcome occurrence for folks in Silicon Valley, and we've got football on a gorgeous day here in Santa Clara as we are situated at Levi Stadium. Coming up, a rematch of Super Bowl 54, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the San Francisco 49ers. the kicker Harrison Butker ready to get this one started and we are underway from Santa Clara this fielded right at the goal line and no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line so here's the first drive now for the 49ers and they will be let out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the quarterback and you'd think as a young QB there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. Oh, his first throw of the game, going to be intercepted. Picked off by LeJarius Sneed, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Well, short of them returning it for a pick six, that was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. Here's the Chiefs' offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle. You put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense is strong in coverage. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. 
forced a few here so far in this game. And now it brings up fourth down. Butker's kick here is good. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And they'll be looking to make amends for that first drive, which came to a rather abrupt ending certainly did and I remember going back to my notes before this game and a lot of times when I scout a guy I have a little section about how does he handle adversity and in this case a big check mark he may have thrown the first interception but I don't think he's going to throw very many more try to shake off the interception he'll look to throw connects with Kittle underneath and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And they're going to get this up to midfield. First catch of the game there for Samuel, and it results in a first down. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. They'll find Ayuk open right side. Now he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Second and 10. Birdie. Yeah. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. It's not cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. I had a man 
open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. On right, fourth down, here's Purdy. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. So give him the first down. First and goal after a pickup of four. And the decision to go for it pays off. Purdy now to throw. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. You ready to run? Now from back at the nine after that last play, this is third and goal. Purdy from the gun. Seconds of the first half, and the 49ers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back, tremendous poise, confidence never lost, and obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. seconds all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a fine performance in the first half from the former Mr. Irrelevant, Brock Purdy. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Here 
It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. There's completion to the tight end, and I think they were looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Mahomes to throw on third and one. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Incomplete. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Now it's Mahomes again. Caught Kelsey, left side. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 36 yards on the play. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Three corners in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. Mahomes complete to his tight end. It's Kelsey. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Here comes second down at five. Here's Mahomes. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. So they went to the big boy in a big spot late. He provided, and now they're in the driver's seat. And Brandon, size does matter in this game. All right, you can go to the slot, guys. You can do all of that. But rarely have we ever seen a tight end described as diminutive, right? <laughs> we just don't get that. Big target, big catch radius. It gives you a comfort zone as a guy throwing the football. Important extra point up and through. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. 
And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So Purdy and the Niners down 10-7, a little over a minute and a half remaining. They need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. To throw is Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I like what they did there, still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. They'll come up now on second down. Here's Purdy to throw. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he'll get it near the 30 to the 39. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? I think you got to use one here, don't no you? Doubt about it. I'd use one right here. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and 10 now. Purdy to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throw right side, going to be caught by Hardman. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeroes. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, the play of their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. Well, that 
we say so long from Santa Clara.